Hey guys, my project this time is a Connect 4 game. Hey, why would you want to spend upwards of five or six dollars on a Connect 4 game made out of plastic at the store when you can build your own for probably, well, twice or three times that amount? But you made it yourself! If you don't know what a Connect 4 game is, it's sort of like tic-tac-toe. So, it's got this game board and it has all of these, well, they're falling all over the place, all these little colored discs. And so what you try to do is you try to drop them in. Each player takes a turn dropping them in and like so. And so whoever can get four in a row, either vertically, horizontally, or even diagonally, is the winner. And there are four different colored discs, so actually four people can take turns playing. This is actually my second attempt at trying to make this project, because I worked on it yesterday, and I made the mistake of using quarter-inch plywood uh, for these two side panels. And you can see by making all of these holes, all of the, uh, the plywood, the veneer, just started splitting away, and it was a total disaster. And I, I actually tried to use some wood filler and fill it in, <laughs> which was a, a real error. Uh, but, you know, being the cheapskate that I am, I should have done what I did this morning and go over to the lower yard and pick up a sheet of quarter inch MDF. So a word to the wise, uh, don't use plywood on this project. You'll just be frustrated and you'll waste an entire day. <laughs> to get started on this, I need to cut down two pieces of that MDF to exactly 10 inches by 7 and a quarter inches. So I've cut two blanks here that are oversized, and they're actually neither one of them is exactly the same size, but I'm going to stick them together with some carpet tape so that I can cut them to the exact same dimensions and I can bore all of the holes and they'll be equal. I've designed this template to use for cutting all of the holes. And the first thing I need to do is to cut it out to the exact 10 by 7 and a quarter inch dimensions. And that is the red line on the template. And if you want to uh, use this template, go ahead and download it. You'll find a PDF of it uh, somewhere in the description box or within this blog entry. I've got my two pieces of quarter inch MDF cut down to 10 inches by 7 and a quarter inches and they're exactly the same size because they are taped together. I'm going to leave them taped together and I've applied some spray adhesive to the back of my template and now I can go ahead and line it up. And a little tip when using spray adhesive is spray it on the paper and let it sit and dry for a minute or so before you put it on and then it'll be easier to take off. It's almost like a post-it note. In the center of each of these circles I've put a little cross here so I could take a nail and just make a little starter hole for my Forstner bit. Now I'm sure there's woodworkers out there who are wondering why I'm not just making some sort of a jig to use on my uh, drill press, you know, to get them all aligned up, but I don't know, it's 42 holes and this just seems like a pretty simple way to do it. Using a straight edge and a razor blade, I just want to score the MDF right along these lines where the dividers will go. Now it's just a matter of peeling off the template and you can see that uh, what I've got here is you can see all the little dimples and these score lines that will help me line up those center dividers. Now it's just a matter of boring out 42 of these holes using a 7 8 inch Forstner bit and Boy, am I glad I got this MDF. Look how nicely the holes come out, you know, compared to the plywood attempt that I <laughs> did yesterday. And plus, it makes these weird little cardboardy kind of ribbons when you drill through it. Well, 42 holes drilled through MDF with a sharp Forstner bit. Whoa, it just goes through them just like butter. And these things are really cool. I really like these shavings. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to save these and figure out something to do with them. <laughs> now of course the problem with MDF is that it's kind of fragile so getting these apart is going to be a little bit of a trick. Well this appears to be working. Uh, I guess 
the thing to do is just re resist the temptation to just pull these apart because I have a feeling they would just bust in two. Oh, there we go. Now I just need to peel off the carpet tape. All right, I've got 42 one and a quarter inch discs to make. I have a one and a quarter inch dowel, which I think was just a closet rod. But I've set up a stock block here, and it's just a matter now of cutting out 42 of these guys. Now I just need to cut those dividers, and I'll use the quarter inch MDF and cut it 3 eighths of an inch wide. Now you can start to see what's going to happen with all of these strips cut to size. I will glue them down on the one side and then glue this panel down and there is my Connect 4. Alright, everything's dry. I've got uh, the whole grid is all done and I have you know, cut off all the loose ends and squared everything up nice and neatly. I've got all 42, actually I made a bunch more of my discs. Now I just need to make a base and of course paint everything. Now I've just set up an assembly line for four different colors of discs and I'm spray painting them. Now I'm sure you could come up with a, a more creative base than this, but what I've done is just taken that quarter inch MDF and I've cut a piece and rounded over that edge and I've cut a piece a little bit smaller, rounded over those edges and so I'll just glue that together and simply glue this piece on top. Alright, so here we are. I've got everything glued up and I'm not clamping anything together. I'm just letting the weight of the project itself hold all of that MDF together. And uh, if you're a new woodworker or somebody who hasn't used MB, MB, MDF before, I should probably take, just take a second to explain that MDF is medium density fiberboard. And I'm not really sure exactly what it is. I suppose, you know, if you want, you can Wikipedia it or Google it or something. You'll find out more than you ever wanted to know about MDF. Suffice to say that I think it's comprised of uh, probably sawdust or something, and it's just packed together. And... Boy, I gotta tell you, it's super easy to work with. I mean, the, your blades will just cut through it like butter. Uh, it doesn't splinter. Uh, obviously, you have to paint it. So any project that you're gonna paint, and any project that I plan on painting in the future, I think I'm just gonna go with MDF. Can't beat it. Well, there you have it. There is the completed Connect 4 game, and I painted it all white. And over here, I've got all of my discs, and I painted those four different colors. There's ten of each color, and to make up for the extra two spots in the grid, I painted a couple of black ones. So maybe some creative players could come up with some sort of a, a game where there's you, you have like a blocking piece or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Have fun with it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, again, if you want to download my PDF of this project, it should be in the description box. And visit my website, woodworkingformeremortals.com, for more of these wonderful woodworking insights. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.